Oh, well. I can't show you what I want to show you. I can't get the video camera to work what I want. Slice switch. This will probably be my last video for today. It's 1146 Pacific Mountain Time. The weather looks like that outside. Uh, no, you can't see it. But it's not sunny. It's smuggy. Smuggy like a duggy. Now, this video is for black people out there. The black people that watch my channel. Um, this is the deal. Um, I do all kind of videos from all different perspectives. You know, I talk about white people, talk about black people, talk about Mexicans, whatever. And one of my famous phrases is snotty nose Chinese. The only reason I ever said snotty nose Chinese is because I watched a video on YouTube a long time ago. And it says something like ugly Chinese women or something. And it had this one lady who had a bunch of snot coming out of her nose. So whenever you hear me say snotty nose Chinese, it's because of that video image that I have in my head. Okay. Getting back on cue. Black people don't fall for the trap set by YouTube. I understand how sweet it is for people to recognize your videos and notice you for the talents in which you have. But that is a trap. I noticed over the past week when I commented on a video, what if every white man wanted black women, then the black man would be through. I commented on that video and I commented on two other videos similar. Those are the videos I've got the most hits off of in the last two weeks. Is some black stuff, negative black stuff. Negative, anything negative racially oriented I got more hits off of than the knowledge videos or, or me being myself telling the truth. Me and Father Judgment talked last night on the phone for about an hour. You can see those interviews on Father Judgment's channel. And we talked about several things on YouTube. And he was supposed to be going to a Jay Ryder show. And I told him what Soul and Black pretty much told me that he felt as if he was ambushed. So when you go on the Jay Ryder show, have your P's and Q's about you, because pretty much everybody does. Be prepared to be placed in a situation that you may not be able to be, but be prepared to be placed in a situation that you're not prepared for. In other words, if a certain question came up, instead of answering it in a certain manner, answer it, in the most logical fashion. In other words, speak to this group of people as if you were in some national forum in a manner to where this guy's holding his own. You know, so he wouldn't have a soul and black experience because he remembered battles that he had with Jay Ryder in the past. I like Jay Ryder. I haven't watched his show in a while. But, you know, you you take your trip around and you come back around. So, in saying that, black people don't fall in that trap. Because Jay Ryder don't fall in that trap. You don't hear him constantly, you know, on black this, black that. Some folks out there depend on that for video hits. And I notice when I be speaking knowledge and be trying to tell people the truth, you know, it comes off like, not like I'm preachy, but like I'm telling the truth. But if I hear somebody say a white man is better than a black guy in, you know whatever and I comment on the video that video gets hits when I comment on relationships between white people and black people in a sexual manner like you know what if all white men wanted black women like I said that video got more hits last week than any other video I did in the week I moved uh, my Suge Knight video. I changed it from what it was linked to. I lost 60% of my views by moving a video. How does that work? Where's the logic in that? A view is a view is a view. Ooh, when linked properly, your videos get hit. I got this little tripod and this big ass camera. 
Oh, I said big ass. I'm getting back on asses and everything. If you know somebody black and they put the booty meat video up, tell them to pull that video off. If you know somebody who put a booty video up, you tell them to take their video off. If they're not getting paid for it, they don't need to have it on there. And I'm honestly telling you, these partners who do these videos, like Father Judgment said, they do one video a week, and they get paid to be on YouTube, and people come watch us for our videos, and we don't get any video views. Um, this young man was showing a video that Nuff Sense said did, or, or you know, and they were showing how this guy's got almost more video comments than video views. Um, that censorship. If nobody's watching the video, I need to clean that up big time. If nobody's watching a video. Um, how can it get more comments than, um, you know, views or as many comments as views? So that lets you know that there's somebody playing with your views. And if you got to say something negative about your own race to get video hits, you got to shake your ass to get video hits. If you got to try to sell sex to get video hits, it's us people out here not doing that shit. Don't make us have to fucking lower our quality standards for other people's bullshit. So if you know somebody shaking their ass and they're underage, and, you know, that's not part of YouTube's rules. That's against the rules of YouTube. You tell them to pull their video off or get paid for their video. I'm serious. Because YouTube is spanking these young ladies who started it. YouTube will be nothing without booty me. You know that. And um, Soulja Boy would like to say that's all him, even if it is all him. The exploitation of black people and or underage children is not part of YouTube. And if people out there watch the video, YouTube guidelines, you know, then you understand the rules. You might be getting a lot of video hits, but somebody's getting paid for you to exploit yourself. If you're going to belittle yourself like that, black folks, talking bad about black folks, acting stupid for hits just because you a black person, anybody can say something negative. But to get recognition for saying something negative about your own people is a joke. You allow yourself to feel as if you're popular by talking bad about your own people. You need to let that go. You know women shaking their ass on YouTube? You need to tell them to stop that shit because if they ain't getting paid for it, come on, man. How you going to sell the best for nothing? How you going to cheat yourself for nothing. So, if I got to say something negative about black people in order to get hits on YouTube, or if I have to act like I'm jealous or angry at some white man for dating a black woman to get hits on YouTube, that's bullshit. I'm sorry if the language is depressing you, but if you find any knowledge in this, pass it on. I need to get this camera working so I can do different kinds of videos. Uh oh, look, the light ain't coming on. Oh, there you go. See, once this camera's working, man, I'll be doing videos different ways. And it's like, this is light sensitive. See, look, oh, let me see if I can put this over here. Just see, look. These Rip Roar cameras are pretty cool. See, when this camera's working, I can just work this camera from this angle and I can and since it's on the stick I can just manipulate the camera from different angles change the head of the camera like this and hold it at this angle boom I've already showed you how this camera works huh? I can tilt it up and down look at that movement pass it on 